for those that uh, your goal is to complete this course and pass this course as a verified student, is my first tip is to have a plan. I think that it's very important to book for, on average, our students say that they need on average in between six to 12 hours per week in order to review all of the materials for each week and to prepare for the great assignment per week. So the first thing that we recommend is to have this plan to book for a reasonable slot of time that allows you, some of our learners said they every single day they book for one hour and they go through this one hour after work, after uh, go the, the, the kids go to, to bed, mm -hmm. then they book for this one hour every single day. Another student, other students prefer just to concentrate that during the weekends because they are very busy during the week. They are, they have work, they have, fa they have families, and then they book this a lot of time during Saturdays and Sundays. So this depends, but the first thing is half a plan. Once you have a plan, then I really recommend to meet your goal and meet and go every single slot of time that you say hey this hour is for sc1x course you need to have discipline <laughs> so this is also a second important thing and i i was very very happy when i i i heard from my student hey how did you manage this and most of you are have your full-time job your families and many many other commitments so when the learners tell me hey discipline is the only way I have in order to complete that. I, I think I realized that this is uh, this is something that is very good to, to have in order to complete these courses. So um, yes, and discipline also means do not procrastinate. So please don't leave everything for the last minute because we all tend to do that. But that's not a good idea in our online courses. So just be very disciplined and do your work in time. Yeah, some of our learners, they are very, very, uh, just when we release the material, they go through the material, they try to complete in the very first week, the whole thing, including the great assignment. So they, they, they just have uh, time to go th through the next week. Some of our learners wait a little bit more or until the weekend because they cannot uh, manage during the week. Um, most of them, I need to say, wait until the very last minute. And then they send emails to us, please, please, please extend the deadline. And this is something that we cannot do. So um, our recommendation is planning advance. Uh, uh, assume that this one week instead of two weeks. And if something happens, you always have this buffer. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah I also have a very good tip now. <laughs> and uh, my tip is study and practice. <laughs> it might seem obvious, but it is really, really important. What do I mean by a study? Just watch the videos. Stop. If you don't understand something, just go back and play it again. You know you can play the videos slowly at a slower pace or faster if you already know the concept, but you want to cover all the videos because it's important. And it, uh, maybe some concepts are there that you don't know. So you please review all the videos. And if you're not so familiar or you have struggled a little bit with English, as many people do, uh, we have the transcripts. So just make use of them. They are there and they're very helpful. And uh, practice, the practice part is super important. Practice, practice, practice. That's the best way of learning new concepts. So just do the practice problems. Some of our learners, of our very successful learners, do them one, twice, or three times until they really get the concept and they really master it. Mm -hmm. So just dedicate some time to practice. And they told us that this part really helped them in order to be prepared for the great assignment and the nature on final exam. So mm -hmm. practice is a very good way to implement the concept that you just learned. Yeah. And uh, one last tip, it's uh, use the forums. Uh, some of you maybe don't even know where the forums are or what are they for. Well, they are super useful. Our high performance learner, learners use the forums a lot because the forums are a great way uh, to expand your knowledge and better understand all the concepts we're teaching because you can ask questions if you uh, need some clarification, there's something you don't really get. You can just ask a question there and you will get a bunch of answers from your peers, from other learners, from our community teaching assistants, or even from us, from MIT staff, uh, that will help you to understand what you didn't get. 
but you can also go in there to read about other people's questions and answers that might help you to expand your knowledge. And uh, you will learn about how people are applying their learnings of the course to their day-to-day -day jobs. So you will learn how to apply them to like, real settings and real problems. That mm -hmm. I learn every time I go into the forums and read all the comments and questions, I learn something new. So I highly recommend it to you. Yeah, so our recommendation is uh, start with the videos, uh, go through the quick question, and then complete the practice problems. And after doing that, um, we also have the key concept document. Some of our learners said that some of them prefer also to have this key concept document because this helps them to study more kind of using a book or, or this kind of learning. So you also have this resource just in case this helps you to fix the concept and go through it before taking the, the great assignment. Um, okay, so those are our very important tips. Have a plan, discipline, study and practice. Practice as much as you can and use the forums. Really give them a try because they are super useful for learning. Um, we have some questions here, Eva, Perfect. from our learners. If you have any more questions, please share them with us in the chat or some feedback about the tips or maybe plan you have the plan you have yourself, uh, something we might have forgotten that might be useful, please share, share it with us. Um, the first question is, um, Kawase, who asked, how can I understand my calculation mistakes in graded questions when I made a mistake in case I don't find them by myself? Mm -hmm. So for great assignment, uh, you, all of you uh, will have the explanation and the solution available after the due date. So once we, we, we close the great assignment, you, you will have access to this solution and explanation. However, for the midterm and final exam, we do not provide this because this is pure assessment. And uh, it's intended there just to uh, assess your knowledge, um, but it's not part of the learning environment that I mentioned before. So for great assignment, yes, you will have that for midterm and final, we do not uh, facilitate this solution. If you think that uh, there is some issue, some bug, or something that you say, hey, I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is correct or not, you can always, always send an email to, to se1x help uh, at mit.edu. Um, let us know your thoughts or your concerns with a, a specific uh, question. We always, always re review uh, all of your emails and review the platform. Um, uh, we double check it as many times as we need in order to be sure that everything is correctly set in the platform. So mm -hmm. do not hesitate to share with us your concern. Um, for great assignment, the answer is yes. Uh, unfortunately, for midterm and final, no. <laughs> yes. Uh, he also asked if we uh, debug spreadsheets. So we don't do that. Uh, you, um, if you share with us your spreadsheet uh, with the solution of the problem in the through the email, we can't really uh, go through the spreadsheets of every learner. So we highly recommend you, if you have any question about the grading assignment, just to go into send us an email but specify very clearly your question what your doubt is about so we can solve it but please don't send us the spreadsheets because we we can't go through every spreadsheet sent by every every student uh -huh. uh, another question by girish nangao um is uh, how accessible is a c1x if uh, he hasn't taken a c0x yet so in this case, this depends on your math background. If you have a good statistical statistic mm -hmm. background, I would say shouldn't be a problem. If you need to, to refresh or, or study this concept, then I really encourage you to take SC0X. If your math background is okay and you already went through this concept, then maybe you just need to go through the key concept document for SC0X. Um, with that, uh, you should be fine uh, to take SC1X. So have a look to the key concept document in SC0X. See how you 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 feel with with this uh, this concept. Um, based on that, you can make your own decision. Mm -hmm. uh, then Mohammed uh, just shared with us that he is forced to join the military in one week. Mm -hmm. So how can we deal with midterm exam or, or assignments? 
so midterm and final exam, uh, the, the, the dates are already announced. So you already know when we are going to open and close the midterm and final exam. So during this week, you need to, to, to book for a reasonable a slot of time that I would say at least six hours because the, the, the time exam is going to be four hours. So book for a reasonable uh, uh, a slot of time that allow you to have a laptop, internet connectivity, and all of the things that you need in order to take the exam. Unfortunately, we cannot reschedule or, uh, or move these dates. So you already know the dates. Let's see if you can manage to take the exam during these dates. This is the only way. If not, uh, we, we are offering every single SEX course twice per year. So the next one, the next SE1X is going to be in fall 2018. It's going to start in September 2018. So... Yeah. Yes. And then uh, Prasad, he um, asked if we could share the material for verified students for a week so people can see what is being missed. Um, we don't do that. But actually, if you go into the supplemental materials uh, section, even if you are not verified, you could see the titles of the sections. Yeah. So you can get an idea of what we're offering there. Mm -hmm. It's usually practice problems, uh, sometimes some extra videos. And uh, all, we always have some practice problems and some supplemental materials, master thesis mainly from the MIT yeah. program, or other interesting um, readings. And just to clarify, this is supplemental material. This is extra material. The core material for the course is available for audit and verified student. It's only this extra or supplemental material. Um, this is set in the platform only for verified students. So this is the way we can set this in the platform. OK, so um, I think we answered all the questions that were uh, raised. Um, thank you for uh, sharing this live event with us. It was great to spend this hour with all of you and to uh, officially uh, welcome you to SC1X Supply Chain Fundamentals. It will be a great course. We have a great group of people and learners uh, behind the, the camera. So uh, yeah. We're looking forward to spend these three next months with uh, learning about uh, inventory management, forecasting, and transportation with you all. So good luck in SE1X, and thank you so much. Welcome again. Bye. Bye.